Okay, so my name's Michelle Benedum, and um, I was part of Two Tiny Girls Go Green, and I just want to thank my teammate, Katherine Sussman. Um, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her help, too. Um, and so uh, we g both go to the University of Idaho, and I'm a senior there studying natural resources and conservation. So I'm going to cover four main parts during this speech. I'm going to talk about what I learned through Project Green Challenge, and then I'm going to focus more on the sustainable practices that I learned um, by getting out in my community through Project Green Challenge. And I'm going to talk about the um, parts that I thought had the most impact with me and the most impact um, with the people surrounding me. And then I'm going to talk about what I'm doing now to go from a conventional lifestyle to a more conscious lifestyle. So the main thing I learned was that it, is, it takes dedication and education to make a change. And I was dedicated to PGC. I mean, you had to be to make it here. And I learned so much. And I also learned that zero waste can be done anywhere, including my one-person apartment. And I learned that the small actions that I was taking were really adding up to be big changes. And just all the small actions from the people in this room have added up to an even bigger um, action as a whole. And if we keep doing these small things, it is the big thing. Um, I also learned that the do-it-yourself cleaning products are easy to make, and I actually had quite a few of them sitting in my house that just needed to be made together and that they were already there. And I say that um, purchasing organic or natural products is not more costly. I'm going to change that and say that living a more organic or natural lifestyle um, as a whole is not more costly because you do more with less. And so, yeah. And then throughout Project Green Challenge, I had to go out and immerse myself in my community. I had to talk to people. I had to meet with people that I would have never talked to otherwise. And so through the food challenge, um, I was making my food map from where restaurants and uh, where our food comes into Moscow, Idaho. And I learned so much about our farmer's market. Um, for example, we have 100 vendors, which I had no idea was that big. Um, I also learned that a lot of the restaurants in our downtown, they get their food locally. And so it was just good to know that my community is moving towards sourcing their foods locally. And that's something that is actually happening in my community. Um, I had to talk to the landscape director through the biodiversity challenge. And he told me about two uh, pollinator gardens that we have on campus. And I learned about our arboretum, which is on your left there, um, 63 acres, 120 different species of plants. And through this, I learned um, I had a passion for pollinator gardens, and it's something I want to continue doing. And I've learned um, just some of the gaps that we have on our campus. Um, so I worked very closely with the Sustainability Center um, on campus, doing several challenges and talking to them about what our campus is doing. Um, I learned about our food and farm program, which is a composting option that we have in our cafeteria um, where students can compost their leftovers. And I learned about um, our game day recycling, which I volunteered with. And we set up recycling bins, composting bins, um, all over the football stadium and for tailgating. I also learned um, where these programs need to be improved and what they're lacking, but they have at least started. And so now I know where I could take action when I go back. So the most impactful part of Project Green Challenge for me was bringing people together. I, had, I received support from more people than I would have ever imagined. Um, I had people supporting me that I never knew was even like paying attention to me like, or following my social media at all. Um, so, like, the challenges that made me collaborate with fellow teammates, or not teammates, my teammate too, but friends and people that um, became friends through this challenge, that had the most impact for me. And, like, this is a picture of um, our non-GMO party um, that we hosted. And, yes, that's my friend pretending to drink wine out of the bottle. No, she didn't actually. Um, <laughs> but it was just great to see everyone participating. And so this slide is probably the most important slide on here. These, these three um, social media outlets proved to have like, the most impact, especially for me personally. Um, on October 4th, which is just four days into this challenge, I had no idea what I was like, getting myself into, actually. We made a blog where we carried our trash around all day. 
And I received an email from my aunt, who I hadn't talked to in months, asking me, what do you mean plastic isn't biodegradable? What do you mean it goes into the ocean? And so that was just a start where we saw what we were doing. And this non-GMO party, we made um, a public Facebook event. And within a sev several hours, people, sa people said that they were going and asking us, like, what do you mean non-GMO? Like, what, what, is, what is this? So it was great to see people coming together and to get people's different perspectives. And we could all, like, teach each other, like, what we knew and to bring it all together. And then our Instagram post, Two Tiny Girls Go Green, we made um, within the first like couple days of the challenge. And within a week, we had over 100 followers. And someone sent us a personal message saying that we were being so inspiring and to keep it up and that he was bringing these practices into, our li er, into his life. So these are just some of the pictures of the people that um, like helped during our challenge. My boyfriend being a dork who got drug around to so many challenges, like I swear by the end of this, he'd be like, oh, how are you, Project Green Challenge? Like that was my entire life. <laughs> And my aunt sent me this picture of her reusable um, shopping bag just to show her support for what I was doing and just to like let, let me know that people were paying attention and people care. And so what I'm doing now, I don't want you to pay attention to this slide because yes, I'm trying to buy food in bulk and I'm reducing my waste and recycling and trying to get away from, from plastics, but that is so basic and so like the small things that everyone should be doing. I'm going back home with a sense of purpose. Um, I'm going home inspired by everyone here and just everything that I have learned here. I'm going back wanting to do something. Um, I'm gonna go back and I don't understand why we're not recycling number five and number six, number six plastics on campus. I'm gonna change that. I applied to be a Five Guys ambassador last night. I'm gonna do that. I wanna start a turning green chapter. Like these are things that I, have gone from being somebody who doesn't know how to take action, and I've become somebody, I've become a doer, I've become somebody who is taking action, and I have done that because of Project Green Challenge. Thank you, and that is my teammate. <laughs>